Hello readers, and thank you for joining me for another spelling lesson. Uh, today we are on Spelling um, My View Literacy, Unit 5, Lesson 4 for third grade, and we are looking at the schwa sound. Um, and I actually, I learned something about the schwa sound getting ready for this lesson, and that's that the schwa, what it will one, what is a schwa? You probably know what a schwa is. I'm sure your teacher has already taught you but I want to review it because I learned something new about it. The schwa sound is the most common vowel sound. It's not the long vowels and the short vowels. It's the schwa sound. And it can be made with all the vowels. A-E-I-O-U can all make the schwa sound. It's a vowel sound in an unstressed syllable. Um, where a vowel does not make its long or short vowel sound. It usually sounds like a softer and weaker short U sound. We usually think of the U uh sound. But and this is the new part, it can also make the short I, a softer short I sound. The schwa symbol, if you're looking at it in phonics, looks like an upside down E. And an example of the short U sound would be the word balloon. And we hear that uh, uh, so that A would be the schwa. Or we might hear the short I sound in mountain, where we hear the I sound by the AI. Um, and so that would be two examples of one with the short U and one with the short I sound. So, schwa has two sounds, not just one. Um, and my sound wall just says one. But we're going to get that fixed. So we're going to use our same pattern as before. We're going to say the word, tap the sounds, spell it, write it, and circle the schwa. We're going to find it in our words. This one might be a little bit more challenging for some of us, but I bet by the end we'll be experts. All right, let's get started. Our first word is citizen say citizen map the sounds it i z i i n citizen spell it c i t i z e n citizen and let's write it C I T I Z E N. Now, where's the schwa? It's in that second I. It's the unstressed. If I were to break that up into syllables, sit i zen, it would be a sit. The reason that's a short I and sit is because it's a closed syllable. And it um, it's also more stressed than the middle one, which is not. Our next word is decimal. Say decimal. Map the sounds. D -S -I -M -O. D-E-S-I-M-O. Decimal. I'm going to trick you on this one. Spell it. D-E-C-I-M-A-L. Decimal. And let's write it. D E C I M A L. Where's the schwa? It has both the short I and the short A. When you have the all sound, the A L says all. It's a uh, all, so it has that schwa sound. And of course, the I is the unstressed, so that would be a schwa too. Decimal. It is the most common vowel. The next word is delicious. Say delicious. If something is yummy, it's delicious. Map the sounds. D -e -l -i -sh -a -s. Delicious. Spell it. D-E-L-I-C-I-O-U-S. Delicious. You were sounding it out. You probably already found that schwa, I bet. Let's write it. D-E-L-I-C-I-O-U-S. Where's the schwa? That's right. It's that first I. It couldn't be this one because it says D-E. And C-I says sh. And O-U says uh, which is supposed to say that's a vowel team. So that would be it. 
Next one is economy. Say economy. The economy is how a country or a group is doing with their money. Map the sounds. Eek. Ah, uh, e. Economy. Did you find that schwa? Spell it. E C O N O M Y. Economy. And let's write it. E C O N O M Y. And where's the schwa? Is that O? That's right. Econ uh, uh me. Our next word is gallon. Say gallon. You might buy a gallon of milk from the grocery store. G a o a n. Gallon. I heard the schwa. G a l l o n. Gallon. And let's write it. G a l l o n. And where's the schwa? And the O, that's right. Circle it. Our next word is global. Say global. Map the sounds. G O O B O. Global. Did you find it? Spell it. G L O B A L. Global. If something is global, it's all over the whole earth. It's around the whole globe. Let's write it. G L O B A L. Where's the schwa? In the A, that's right. Global. Our next word is item. Say item. Map the sounds. I t. I -m, item. Spell it. I T E M. Item. And let's write it. I T E M. Where's the schwa? And the E, that's right. It says I E. The short I sound. Our next word is nickel. Say nickel. Worth five cents. Map the sounds. N I K O nickel. And again, let's spell it. N I C K E L nickel. And let's write it. N I C K E L. And our schwa is the E. That's right. Nickel. And the reason the I is not a schwa is because it's in the stressed part of the syllable. It's a stressed syllable. The next word is notify. Say notify. Map the sounds. N O T I F I. Notify. Spell it. N O T I F Y. Notify. If someone notifies you of something, they're telling you about it. They're letting you know. Let's write it. Notify. N-O-T-I-F-Y. Where's the schwa? And the I. That's right. No t i i i Our next word is travel. Say travel. If you're going somewhere, you're traveling. Map the sounds. T Er, av, ol, travel. Spell it. T R A V E L. Travel. And let's write it. T R A V E L. And where's our schwa? That's right, in the E. If you ever hear that O sound at the end with the vowel, that's almost that's always a schwa. Next, let's go to our high frequency words. Our last two words. The first word is ready. Say ready. Bet you're ready for this video to be over. 
Let's map the sounds. Er, ed, e, ready. And let's spell it. R, e, a, d, y, ready. And let's write it. One more word. R, e, a, d, y. And our last word is anything. Say anything. Map the sounds. I, n, e, t, i, ng. Anything. And that ng should be together. Um, spell it. A, n, y, t, h, i, n, g. Anything. And let's write. Just write anything on the board. A, n, y, t, h, i, n, g. G. And we are done. That was the last word. Until next time, happy reading.